next door app and Facebook are now the go to for real time information about what's happening in your neighborhood. Scroll through and you will see posts warning of break ins, vandalism and suspicious cars driving through. It's clear people are becoming more vigilant. In tonight's special report, Megan Hahn takes a look at one group that is all about being the eyes and ears. Deer Park 8 in service. Gary Grunant and Carol Prokop are heading out to spend the next two hours or so patrolling the Deer Park neighborhood. Two out of six, two or two out of six, three. But their vests aren't bulletproof. They don't carry handcuffs. The vehicle of choice, a pickup, not a squad car. While they both have years of law enforcement experience under their belts, they're not officers. These are ordinary citizens armed with a sense of duty rather than a gun. You look for uh, doors that may be ajar, windows that may be open that shouldn't be open. Trained to observe and report anything that, well, just doesn't smell right. But over the years, we, we learn these things of what's happening in our neighborhood. We just uh, try to be the best listener and observation person that we can. Think Neighborhood Watch. Here's a little strip mall that we'll go behind and we'll check to see if there's any broken glass in it. Uh, there might be a dumpster fire. That dumpster there was sitting over where that white van is. You know, and we found it on fire one morning about, uh, 1 one thirty. Sometimes these patrollers are put in the front seat for some rather interesting encounters. The weirdest one that I had was a naked man running eastbound on a street with a carrying a hatchet. In the last month, there's been at least 284 cases of car theft, break-ins, robberies, and other nonviolent crimes. It's what's motivating new recruits to sign up. There's been a lot of car break-ins and home break-ins in the neighborhood. It used to be a very quiet neighborhood, but over the years, it's increased with that kind of activity. So there's a concern, and I felt there was something that needed to be done. At the Omaha Police Northwest Precinct, OPD officers train the volunteers. If you're called to 911, report the incident, and safely get away from the incident. Patrollers aren't paid for their time, but they log hours to show their presence in the community, averaging about 10 calls reporting suspicious activity to 911 a month. Clear, thank you. It's hoped that close to 500 active patrollers in 36 different neighborhoods will reduce crime. If I went into a neighborhood and I was going to commit some kind of crime, the first thing if I saw a citizen patrol group driving around with signs on their cars, I would know that they're looking for people like me. Megan Hahn, 3 News Now.